Alright, welcome to week 4 of the Domain 9 series. And starting now, we should be getting no more level increases. Most likely, the next one's going to be in patch 3.2. But we want to start out by taking a look at our casual tab, with the first being Artificial Island. If you end up being lucky, hopefully you have an old man around here. If not, then be sure to visit your friend's islands because you're able to get 8 items a week. You also want to make sure that you hit the present tab so that way you can collect your resources because you can only hold a certain amount every day. Then you want to go ahead and visit your Artificial Island. Once inside, you want to make sure you hit the triangle so that way you can check your exchange door and make sure you buy your weekly items because remember, they reset once the week restarts. And you want to make sure that you kill your enemies before they respawn on Monday. Next, you want to do your fishing, and you want to try to get your fishing to level 9. That way, you can buy your weekly standard matrice. If you're just starting out, I recommend that you buy 100 to 150 green bait, so that way you can buy purple bait until you have time to start leveling up fishing, using the rest of the available bait you have for the week. Next, you don't want to forget about your appointed research. You want to make sure that your energy does not cap because you can only hold a grand total of 20 energy. That way you can keep getting your 5 free energy a day. And next we have Ronnie. You want to make sure that you're buying your pelican shards, your energy, and your potent omnium crystal every week. This is easy to forget, especially since you can't teleport to Ronnie. And you don't want to forget to do your racing before the end of the month so that way you can get that free 400 Mira. And the last thing is, you don't want to forget to do your security force missions before the week ends so that way you can get those old Vera coins in Mira. Also, if you enjoy this weekly guys, I would greatly appreciate a like so that way these can spread more on YouTube. Next you want to do your Mia's Kitchen, and you want to do your 4 bounties for the day. And you want to always choose Domain 9 so that way you can get those keys. But remember, I advise that you save these keys for patch 3.2 once we get the new energy system. Then we got our vitality, starting with joint operations. So again, you want to make sure that you do at least one joint operation so that way you can get your free matrix shards. And you want to get in the habit of taking a look at the instance effects. Because today, we're able to get Silka Matrixy shards. So if you have a few vitality solutions or you saved up your vitality, you can get some free-to-play matrices. Next, we have Interstellar Exploration, and you want to check Vera as well as check Aspera so that way you can see all of your Stargates. And you're looking for level 3 Stargates, and how you can tell if it's a level 3 Stargate is if this weapon battery has number 3, it's a level 3 Stargate, number 2 is a level 2 Stargate. But if you don't have any level 3s or level 2s, you could always do Dimensional Trials by simply clicking Go and using the Quick Battle feature. And you can do the same for Matrix Data Packs and Go. Then we have our Optionals, and that's going to the Black Market and talking to Hopkins, see this Island and doing the Claw Machines, and doing your two trainings for the day, as well is knocking out your eight fun zones and you may want to consider doing these because if you plan on getting zeke he uses all gift types so that means gifts from aspera vera and domain 9 can work on zeke so these can help you get a few extra gifts but if you have not already cleared out the gray space then you want to go ahead and do your six gray space fishers for the day but your biggest rewards are in the twilight zone but you do have an eight hour time limit so you could wait on this which brings us to our events. So we have a new supply run and you want to make sure that you're logging in enough time so that way you can get all of the rewards. We also have a couple of days left for the lens swimsuit for the people that were not able to pick it up the first time. But if you already got it, I recommend that you pass. And we still have the Cloudscape event happening. So if you were not able to clear out the store, you still have quite a few days to go ahead and clear it out. And for the people that roll on Ulon, you basically get a few extra rewards, but they're not the greatest rewards. So I would not feel pressure to roll on Ulon just for these rewards. But with that, Ulon is very strong. So if you even have an A0 copy, it will be very powerful. And for our reruns, let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. For Saki, I recommend that you pass, or at most, get one copy, so that way you can easily pick her up once she comes to standard banner in the next patch. Alice, you could consider if you want to try to get martial artists, and then if you want to do that, maybe just go for an A1. And for Icarus, it mainly depends on what you want to do, if you either want to use Yulon as the main DPS, or supporting Icarus. And then we have Fall Guys once again, which is fun to do. You're able to dodge all of your opponents, try to get away and last to the very end so that way you can get the most points but one thing i do have to mention is that it does take a while to get the game started and games could last for quite a while to where if you compare it to our first event palm side onslaught which is a very short game and even if you come in last place you still get quite a bit of points and you can easily just start another one I would say that you could play this game either two or three more times it would take you to play Fall Guys. But whichever one you do like, just make sure that you're getting your points so that way you can get the great rewards in the store. And the last thing that we need to talk about is that server merges are happening fairly soon. And according to what they say, it looks like every region is going to be merged together. So most likely what is going to happen is that once everybody is on one server, we're going to have multiple channels in every world. 
so that way we'll still be able to do world bosses, but it'd be a more lively world since there would be tons of people in it. My only hope is that with so many people being on one server is that they decrease the world boss respawn times because it's already hard enough as is to try to find a world boss, especially when you need to kill at least three a week. Domain 9. Hopefully you have your wing statue to level 6 so that way you can see all of the weekly energy on the map because you want to make sure that you go around and collect all the energy. As you can see on my map, I've already collected everything, but with that energy, I'm deciding to save most of it and not level up my statue so that way I can see what the new statues offer in patch 3.1. You may want to do the same. And next, don't forget to knock out your mentorship before the week ends by doing your co-op missions with at least one mentee and increasing all of your mentees mentorship bond level and if you've been doing it since day one they should be close to 400 by now and with your points i recommend that you buy your titan compiling module and your data repeaters for the week then we got our weekly tab again you want to make sure that you do everything down here so that we can get everything up top and when it comes to the keys i am saving everything until patch 3.2 and this is probably even the same for the gold keys but if you do want the flame bird you could consider using your gold keys once the new boss comes out but i'm going for the dragon smart servant since i'm going to be a vault main with mimi which brings us to the challenges so if you're trying to do something like the bygone phantasm or frontier clash you may want to save your mia's kitchen so that way you can power yourself up but starting with the bygone phantasm so again you want to make sure that you take a look at this weapon bonus and if you have a good weapon bonus then you may want to go ahead and try to knock out the current floor that you're on but if your cs is high enough you may be able to do this sneak to next level and jump up 11 levels as long as you can beat that floor but the biggest thing that will determine your rank is sequential phantasm if you're able to get a high score here most likely you're going to get the top rewards for the week wormhole now this resets in three days so you want to make sure that you go ahead and complete this so that way you can get those extra rewards. Frontier Clash, you want to go ahead and knock it out so that way you can get that golden gear. Origin of War, if you're finding this fairly difficult, then you can wait a few weeks to go ahead and knock it out so that way you can get the best rewards. But just make sure that you don't let the difficulty decrease under 600% so that way you can get those extra rewards. Void Rift, if this is a new boss for you, you want to go ahead and knock it out. Void Abyss, you want to make sure that you clear this before the end of the month. And this is the tech that I was currently using. I went as a flame DPS with the new character Leoa, and this is the tech that I use. But one thing I do recommend is that you use Mechanical Core because it will help you survive Gaia. Raids, unfortunately the bug got fixed to where we got double rewards. So try to go ahead and knock out challenge, but if you can't, you can still always just do heroic and you still pretty much get most of the rewards. Break from destiny. Now we are approaching the end of the month, so you want to make sure that you do this at least one time so that we can get those free 250 dark crystals. Arena, if you want to reach Grand Marshal, then you may want to put a couple hours in each day so that way you can get there. On top of that, don't forget about this daily limit of 2,000 to where at the end of the week, it'd be 14,000 to where you can get critical points, which you can use to buy accessories and old Vera coins in patch 3.2. So you may want to start farming them now. Then we got our daily buys, so you want to go to shop. And don't forget to take a look at your monthly pass and make sure that it hasn't expired because this is one of the best deals in the game. Next, we want to go ahead and take a look at Hot, and then we can look at Vitality Solutions. Now again, I recommend that you get no more than two a day, but remember that if you do do that, you are giving up 21 rows every new limited character. But one thing I recommend that you do try to buy are your advanced modules and your booster modules for the week. Which brings us to the commissary, starting with the Crystal Dust Store. So you want to make sure that you buy your Potent Omnium Crystal 2s, your advanced modules, your booster modules, your core control modules, and your augmentation factors. And you may want to just go ahead and buy your pair of special gifts so that we can go ahead and give those to the new domain 9 character plus even zeke who can take full advantage of them when it comes to your golden crystal dust you may want to save some for patch 3.1 because we are getting a few things added to the store main thing is module boxes for the new titan gear but I still think you should have enough gold crystal dust every week, even if you have zero, as long as you're doing all of the challenges. Space time store, you wanna make sure you buy your advancement modules, your booster modules, and your data repeater for the week. And with your extra crystal fragments, you can either buy a combat engine or you can buy IP shards. Brew store, now the only thing that I recommend that you spend your points on are relics, and the relics that I recommend are either Omnium Shield or Space Time Rep, but you could consider getting a drone level three or a hologram projector. Support store, now you wanna make sure that you buy your space time crystal fragments, your space time crystal 
crystal dust and your gold. And you could even consider buying your black nucleus. And with return support points, you want to buy your space time crystal fragments. And if you have some extra, radar detectors, proof of purchase, and gold nucleus. Point store. Now, the only thing that you want to spend your points on are spare special gifts, so that way you don't have to do training, black market, or see this island again. But you could use them to buy matrix data packs and weapon batteries if you need to level up your matrices and weapons. And with your critical abyss points, I recommend you save them. But besides that, I just recommend that you explore the map so that way you can get those extra resources. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, but other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.